Well, I wish I could give you the tea, but mine's just a little bit tart, and that's why it's called Leah's Lemonade. And listen, I have a star in front of me, but most importantly, I'm a fan of hers. Coco Jones, hello. Hi, how you doing? I'm good. First of all, you just killed this sold-out DC first show since you were like, what, uh, a teenager? How does it feel? I mean, I was literally in the back crying just because I'm so grateful. I mean... I didn't. I try to keep my expectations low, just because I've, you know, I've just been disappointed before, and I don't like that. So when I, even when I walked on the stage, I was just like, I was just trying not to cry the entire time. I was just so grateful, so shocked. I mean, it just was amazing. Yeah. So I saw in another interview that you said that the momentum you're having right now with Bel Air, your music being successful, is similar to the momentum you had when you first got on uh, Disney. It was just moving. It was moving. Talk to me about the PTSD. Like you just said, I don't want to get my hopes up. Talk to me about the PTSD of like being on this run. People are seeing you. People are hearing you. You're everywhere. I know it triggers something a little bit inside when you're like, ooh, this feels familiar. How do you deal? That's the realest question ever. Um, for me, I just talk to my family and I talk to God because what I did learn when all of that kind of went away was who I really am and what's really of value to me like if I make all of this my identity then when it's gone I'll be I would be hurt again like I can't do that so I just take every moment and I look at it like the icing on the cake and not the cake you know what I'm saying but yeah the PTSD <laughs> be real like the fear of losing it but I have to know like I'm here not because of me as much as I wanted these things to happen again only God could open the doors and only him can keep them open so I just gotta stay grateful yeah, and I love, you know, I, I was a big fan of you and Terrell, the cooking show, everything that you were kind of doing leading up to Bel Air. And, uh, you know, talk to me about the humility, because one thing I've realized about you from watching interviews from long ago till now, you've kept your personality. Why is it so important to you? You kind of touched onto it, but like, why is it so important for you to stay humble? Why is it so important for you to not lose root of who you are with all of this success? I mean, I think for me, like, I've seen a lot of people lose their humanness, and I've just... I got permanently humbled, I feel like, I mean, right, literally right, like, right. I mean, at 16, I just, I had to start from scratch, you know what I'm saying? And that was very low. And so for me, I don't know, I mean, I just look at the people who I don't wanna be like, and I just remember how it felt when shit moved slow and I better not ever forget how that felt. Now, but let's be honest, when, when Beyonce said you're singing your ass off, right? Do you wake up the next day feeling, feeling yourself, no lie? Yeah, I took that one to the heart. I ain't even going to hold you. I had to let that one, that one had to resonate. But just the acknowledgement, you know? Yeah. I mean, she's n not for nothing my hero, for real. Like, I mean, the epitome of what I'm trying to do. So for her to see me, and I didn't even have to introduce myself. I just, it kind of gave me that things are going to change. Like, every moment, all of these moments make me feel like things are just never going to be the same. Yeah, well, and talk to me, too, about this transition, right? Because I, I feel like you almost have, like, a semi-built-in fan base that you probably never really knew about because you were so successful on Let It Shine, right? And then all this stuff stopped, and then you come out and you're selling out shows coast to coast. Talk to me about, like, wh where you're at with that. I mean, I don't know. I mean, for me, I just look at it like when it's your time, it's your time. And I wish I could go back and tell my younger self who was so disappointed and so heartbroken because this is my love, you know? So to have it gone, that broke my heart. Yeah. But I wish I could go back and be like, just because it's pausing doesn't mean it's stopping, you know? Just keep going, you know? And that's what I try to tell every one of my fans. Whatever your thing is, like, just keep going. It's just about timing. Yeah. And some of it will never make sense. Yeah, and I'm loving this renaissance for all the black Disney kids because even your castmates in Let It Shine yeah. no. winning awards, grown-ish, like, Main award. Abbott Elementary, Tyler. Yeah. It's like crazy. I mean, it really just shows you that like, we, we've been at this for a really long time. And like when the right opportunity comes, that's when it's for you. You know what I'm saying? It's whatever, whatever you're trying to do, you just have to be consistent at it. And the right opportunity is for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And speaking of good opportunities, let's talk about the fact that you're a part of one of the few remakes of an old show that actually gets good reviews. How does that feel? I mean, just crazy. I People ask me how these things feel, and I just don't have the words. I mean, it sometimes feels like a fairy tale. Like, even today, when I when I was getting emotional, I just felt like I was in a fairy tale. Like, it's just overwhelming. It's overwhelming. It's overwhelmingly good. Yeah. That's how it feels. Yeah. Now, we got to talk about I See You, Baby, because it has the girls in a chokehold, and it's me. Uh, when you yeah, when you ran it back, I was standing on the couch. Security was like, sit down. I was like, yeah, run that back, bitch. Run that back. Come on, Coco, run it back. And the security's like, ma'am, sit down. I was like, I'm crying. 
I'm crying. That's your song? My song. Thank you. Like, Thank you. Where were you at when you made that song? Like, I can feel the emotion and the depth yeah. of the song. Even the way you sing it. I'm like... I'm a church girl, so I know about tone and quality. Okay. It's like, Something about it. The way you said it. Your hands on my body. What, what, what's like, wrong? What's wrong with love? It was like I the register got me. Please, because I can't with you. I really can't on this evening. I'm trying to can, but I can't. Uh, you know? I'm trying. I'm trying. Here I am trying. No, but when I heard I See You, when I heard the track, mm -hmm. I knew... I knew what I had to do, you know, like I was in there trying to make a bop five six seven and eight And when I heard that song it just demanded so much emotion that I was like Let me go back to the girl I was singing Aretha Franklin at every audition at nine years old talking about chain of fools You know what I'm saying like that soul I'm so grateful for my mom who made me listen to the greats because I can tap into that emotion and just make you feel and I knew that that was the song for that and I feel like this EP truly reflected who Coco is. And I'm happy that you're finally getting that moment because for so long you were fought on wanting to be who you are and who you are as an artist. So I'm glad you're able to express that. And I think it's a testament to God of like continuing to do what we want to do, how we want to do it, because how is it that this EP is wildly successful when the whole time people were fighting you on your creative vision? Man, I mean, I think really it was about team. And with this new project and being with Def Jam High Standards, my team looks like me. They talk like me. They see me. They understand. And I was trying to be a black girl in a room full of people who didn't understand me. And that has nothing to do with anything, but just it wasn't the right time. You know, it wasn't the right time for me to shine. And honestly, I'm not even surprised that it feels a lot more like me because all these people around me just help me. They just teach me. I be confused about things and they tell me, they explain things to me. They take their time so that I'm under, so that I'm confident in everything that goes on. Every song on this EP, they have been a part of, and that's why it feels real. I mean, yeah. Real indeed. Listen, there is a line of fans waiting for you, so I ain't going to hold you up any longer. Coco, thank you. Let everybody know what you're doing next because you're always doing something, where they can find you on social media, and um, what else we got coming up? You know what? I'm, I'm outside. I'm in your city, so check me out. I'm going to be at South by Southwest. I'm going to be a strength of a woman. I'm going to be at Essence. I'm, I'm outside, girl, so find me at a city near you. Okay, I'm working you. on the album, too. When I get into back to L.A., it's album mode, and I just, I'm taking all of this data, all of these things, and I'm really being intentional with my project. Like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to break records up in here. I'm trying to do the unthinkable, so be on the lookout. Coco Jones on Instagram, The Real Coco J, Twitter. Y'all, I love y'all. Thank you for messing with me. Yeah, absolutely. And listen, if she's not coming to your city, you can catch her on Bel Air, Peacock. Make sure you catch our girl. And uh, Lemonade Stand, grab a cup, throw it back, and sip on all of that. Ooh, I know that's right.